we all know what's going on. Uh, no need to call it by its specific name. You probably heard of, uh, enough of that. We have an intruder in our midst. And um, during times like these, um, we need comfort, we need uh, confidence, uh, we need these things so that we can get back to certainty. I want to um, extend my prayers to you and your family, if uh, uh, friends, colleagues, associates, or anyone in your circle has been affected by this. It certainly is not um, an easy thing, uh, but it is something that we have to contend with and work through at this moment. Some people have asked me in my career why I focus on, in addition to uh, business strategy and industry talk and market talk, uh, company building, why I also talk about confidence building. And, um, you know, sometimes someone will ask me, well, it seems like you have this, this hybrid thing where you're focused on a particular market, these high-end markets, and you're also focused on confidence building. Well, it's times like these where it becomes apparent how important that is. You see, we need more than business strategy. We need more than industry statistics. We need more than uh, marketing insights. We need true insight, which is the, the second word in my company name, Taylor Insight, and I selected that for a particular reason. It's having the confidence to look within for clarity, for, um, for vision, uh, for confidence, for stability, and um, that's what it's about right now. It's about being able to assess the situation and make some decisions and to make some decisions that will carry you forward from this point uh, to the best, uh, in the best way that you can. I wanna share with you a process that I use to help me in situations like these and in situations where uh, it appears uncertain uh, so that I can feel greater certainty going forward. And it's a four-step process that I believe will be helpful to you right now uh, during these times when you are uh, perhaps trying to decide how best to use this time uh, and, um, and also how to contend with um, obvious levels of concern and, and in some cases fear. Um, there are four things that I work on and have always worked on to give myself a sense of balance. And the first thing is um, getting to a place where you are soothing yourself, where you are taking steps that are soothing so that you feel better about wherever you are and you are shifting away from the bad news, the scary news, um, those things that can cause you to look at the statistics and worry, um, have personal concern. So soothing yourself means turning to those things that give you, give you comfort, that make you feel good, that make you feel, uh, make you feel um, um, stable, if you will. And, and for me, it's, it's, it's always um, things like music and art, in particular, you probably know I'm a jazz fan, and I, I love listening to jazz. And I find that during times like these, turning to great music, some of my favorite musicians and concerts and artists and creative people, it's very soothing to me. Uh, now you may find that many other things are also so soothing, like uh, remembering some family times and some great times in business or some great experiences or great conversations and comedy and laughter and these sorts of things. So soothe, soothing yourself is an important process because it shifts the mind away from the, the barrage of, of statistics and news and 
things that could potentially be concerning. Now, you know, as you're soothing yourself, um, there's the second step where you, where you look at the situation as it stands and you, you take some steps and you, and you reassure yourself. And the second step is safety. And safety is about making sure that you're taking those steps that can uh, keep you safe in a given situation. If you were in a business situation, it would be making sure that you were looking at the, the contract, the, the, the legal language, the, uh, whatever is involved so that you are safe from any kind of peril that might be um, potentially surface. And so in this moment, you want to look at making sure that you do those things that can that can keep you safe and, and 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 we know what those are I don't have to repeat them you've been you, you've heard them you know what they are uh, you, you want to make sure you do them the other thing is to to reassure yourself that you are safe and that um, by taking these steps you will be safe and it's also a matter of being um, very very diligent and and, and being very certain about your safety. So taking no chances, if you will, being very safe. Now the third step in the process is what I would call um, um, getting sure. And getting sure is about doing those things and taking those steps that you know will be very positive for you. And here we're talking about things like productivity. Now, you don't have to feel um, uh, guilty if you're not productive during this time. But I will say this, you have a great deal of time available to you. So this time that you have available to you gives you the opportunity to, to delve into some things you might not have been able to do it at any other times. Maybe do some additional study, some additional reading, some additional writing. You know, that book you've always wanted to write, that video you always wanted to shoot, that um, creative endeavor you want to focus on, that new process or plan or strategy that you, you needed to work out and understand better. You have the time now to, to work on that. And so the third step is about getting sure. It's about getting those things done that will put you on, on, on surer footing. Now the combination of these three things, soothing yourself, taking steps to be safe and reassuring yourself that you're safe, uh, getting sure about the steps that you're taking and taking, being proactive and creative and using your time well, will give you the last step in the process which is strength. And when you get to a place of strength, you can remind yourself that you used this time well, you took the, the, the appropriate steps, um, you, you did everything you could to uh, do everything you could. And um, as A.L. Williams used to say, it's, you know, that's enough. You know, all you can do is all you can do and all you can do is enough. And, and I think what you'll find in this process is you will get yourself uh, a, a little more grounded. You'll get yourself um, a little bit more confident. You'll have more clarity about uh, where you are and, and where you want to go. And you will look at these moments as pivotal moments, as a reset, a recharge. And instead of... Um, focusing on the, the condition, if you will, you'll focus on your, um, uh, your transition, your transformation, and you'll focus on um, transitioning to some new things, transforming into a new person, creating some new things in your business, in your life, making some new commitments, and of course, being thankful in the process that you've had the opportunity to do that and you've been able to manage through the process. So it's four steps, soothe, 
um, uh, safe, sure, and strength. Soothe, safe, sure, and strength. Those are the four steps. I hope you like this um, process and these ideas. Um, I hope you like what uh, you're hearing on my channel. Please be sure to subscribe. Uh, I have a lot more here and a lot more coming, and I will see you next time.